Good morning. It is October. Let's see what day it is. The fourth. Um, I'm on my carnivore diet, week number uh, six weeks and two days, and I'm outside of the front of my house. Um, I'll show you. We just weathered uh, Hurricane Helene, which was devastating. We had two and a half feet of water in our house inside, so it took everything out as far as all personal contents. We lost 98% of everything. And this is our primary house, so it's um, pretty devastating. Unique process there. But we, um, we are doing okay. Uh, my wife and I evacuated after our last video um, last week, last Wednesday, I believe. So we were out of the house, but lost just about everything here. I'll show you the devastation down the street is horrific. Um, this is one of multiple streets and 212 houses that are affected inside this subdivision. There are many other subdivisions that were impacted. Um, this is uh, uh, all the trash that's got to be picked up and thrown away. So um, just I'll walk down the street and show you. Some of the good news is that I've stayed on the carnivore diet, although it's been very difficult based on all restaurants are closed on the island and Publix finally opened so I could get some hard boiled eggs and some um, pulled pork out of the deli area and um, some wings to stay on the carnivore diet. So I'm on that. I'm down about three pounds from last check-in, which is good. Uh, it's really difficult trying to stay on track with the lack of food options. So it can be done. Uh, even though it's hard to do, especially during a um, massive dis uh, disruption like this. But as you can tell, walking down the street, there's everyone's in the same place. They're, they've got the um, uh, people in to put dehumidifiers and everything else before the tear outs of all the sheetrock floors, cabinets, all that stuff. So. We are one of hundreds of houses on not only Longboat Key, Florida, but also um, Amelia Island got devastated, uh, Siesta Key. There's many other uh, places that are devastated like this. So um, it's a tough situation to say the least. But, um, you know, stayed on track. The hardest thing is not to have any alcohol because after a stressful day of dealing with this, you know, it's always um, something that you think about grabbing a cocktail to get your nerves at ease. But I've stayed away from that, stayed on the carnivore diet. Um, like I said, three three pounds down. So uh, it's, it's a, a bad situation here. But we've got friends that are allowing us to stay in their home for the next week or two. And then we've got other relatives and friends that um, that are offering to let us stay in different places since it's going to probably take you know six to eight months to get this back um, to where it's even available to start buying furniture and getting stuff in the house so um, that's my update I uh, appreciate your prayers and I'll be checking in hopefully in the next week and stay the course stay on my eating plan I'm feeling great other than the stress of this situation but uh, that's a quick update from the disaster area of Hurricane Helene so have a blessed day and we will talk to you soon